millions of stars flicker in the night as we stand on this meteorite. An exciting battle is about to begin in a world of illusion created by the Poketopia Massacre. The situation is a bit of a stalemate. It's a mental tug of war as they anticipate each other's move. A rigid shot. The air in the Colosseum is getting heavy. Thunder detonates with a bone. A huge amount of damage. It's down. Squeakle is sent out. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. What kind of developments can we expect to see next? The battle is getting intense. Lissy starts to attack. Nicely done. The red corner faces a great deal of pressure. Bam! It's down and out. Oh oh is sent out. In terms of the number of remaining Pokémon, it's an even 50-50. Both sides still have a chance to win. Big hit! It couldn't take it! It's down! A rigid shot! Sliced by Stone Edge! A huge amount of damage! It's down! Kingdra is sent out! The last Pokémon from each team will take the field. The energy level of the fans in this Coliseum has been turned up to 11. The battle is getting intense. The end of the battle is getting closer by the minute. A fierce blow. Such amazing power. Ray Dilly desperately holds on. The battle has ended. The blue corner narrowly escaped defeat. Live from the PBR Arena, it's the return of commentary! Get your what faces in, get them in! I know they're coming in right now. Hello everybody, I am LucreBomb12. And I am the Chef1337. We are here with you for the next hour on these uh, amazing PBR matches we got coming in. Aren't you excited for this, Luker? It's the return! I am so excited. We haven't done this in... It feels like it's been a month, it's been a few weeks. Um, and we've got some token matches right away that we're going to start with. Let's take a look. Codename Buo is in the lead right now with one token. It looks like your standard metronome match of the hour, followed up by Codename Bay. It is, uh, what would you describe that match, Luker? Uh, that's a mismatch. No yes, pun indeed. intended. Ha! <laughs> All right, with the hourly break, it is time to play Who's That Pokemon? One of these hints is from another Pokemon. Hint number one. It is highly sensitive to the emotions of people. If it senses any hostility, this Pokemon ruffles the feathers all over its body and cries shrilly to intimidate the foe. Hmm. It communicates using telepathy. Its body is covered in that... Its body is covered in down that refracts light to make it invisible. And hint number three, forests where this Pokemon live have superb foliage because the nutrients they make from fallen leaves nourish the plant life. Luca, what do you think that could be? I'm, I'm normally good at these. I don't know this one. I gotta be honest. Uh, now, very, uh, very interesting. Probably, it could be some type of bird Pokemon. It, it's always a bird. It, you know, with wings, it is anyway. There, there's one bird on here that we like quite a bit, but I don't, I don't know if it's that one. Anyway, we've actually had a, a switch in the uh, in the matches. Uh, we have a new number, new in the lead. It's Wehi, which is that looks like Cynthia's team, actually. Yes, it does actually. I believe that is exactly Cynthia's team from uh, the Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. That's right. 
Platinum specifically, I think, because she has the Toga Kiss there. We also have Yoju, which looks like our Vietnamese crystal team. <laughs> Arranged in a very particular manner there. Oh, yes. And we thank you guys again for watching Twitch Plays Pokemon, Twitch's original Twitch Plays, launched in February 2014. Twitch Plays Pokemon could not be made possible without viewers, subscribers, donators, and followers like you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for all of that that you do. It really does help us out. Uh, we've been going strong for three years, and it's just an incredible experience. You so know, the crazy. Sorry, go we, ahead, Luker. We've had one more shift. It looks like the first match to get bid will be the one that ends up winning it in the end. And it is Latias, your Pokemon of the break here. As we get to our inputs in now for Pokemon Ash Gray. One token on the line to one lucky inputter here. What are we doing, Luker, here? Uh-oh. Rainford! Rain. And a Moat Rainford. Uh, we, I think we're still trying to get through Mount Moon. Well, we were trying to get through Mount Moon before we left because we ran out of PP. <laughs> and yeah. now we're back. And Machu's level 20. That's good. About to gain another level, I believe. Very close indeed here. With about five seconds left, get your last second input in. Right now, it looks like A is going to win. We're going to slam jam this Paras. Paris. Why did I say it like a French accent? I don't know. Well, it, it's dead. And look what song we got right here. Well, well, well. Our next match now decided here. And it looks like a very interesting token match here. On the blue corner, we have Raichu, Sunflora, and Machoke. On the red corner, we have Registeel, Kyogre, and Groudon. Registeel rocking that Seismic Toss set. Kyogre and Groudon, all one-hit KO moves against Metronome. Who knows what's going to happen in a match like this. Uh, you're going to have to bless the RNG gods. It's, I would call it half RNG because you have Seismic Toss and one-hit knockout moves versus complete RNG. That's true. One-hit knockout still relies on that RNG just because of the low accuracy of them. A little over two minutes remaining. Get your bets in for this exciting match. Right now, the blue corner... Uh, actually, both corners look like pretty well even in the amount of betters anyway, but the blue corner right now, 1,171% potential payout. We got some big bets going on on red, so that's what's made the big shift right now. You Looking know, you would think with, uh, with our break we had, they would give us a, a better teleprompter, but that's not the case here. <laughs> yeah, the teleprompter is not great, so if I had trouble reading that, uh, that Pokedex, that may be why. I'll get more used to this, though. Lots of bets coming in here on the red corner right now. It looks like they have a potential payout of about 6%, so uh, kind of a big jackpot there, wouldn't you say? 6% payout. Oh, my goodness. You better run in for that. Under 90 seconds now remaining, get your bets in. Large bets still on the red corner. On the blue corner, though, you have a potential for a large payout. That's true. And with Metronome, you could get it. I'm um, trying to look at some of the other stats of these Pokemon. Now, it looks like the normally the red team is going to outspeed here. However, um, no, I should say the blue team. Yeah, the red team will outspeed against everybody except Raichu. But Sunflora has the Quick Claw. And I want to give a with... special shout out to Silver Song MSP for the guacamole there for some reason. Oh. Or an avocado, I guess. It's not really guac yet. It's only for you, huh? Well, they, it, they only did you pick enjoy me. It. Yeah. <laughs> I'll share it with you, Luca. Don't Thank worry. You. <laughs> Less than 30 seconds remaining. Get your last second bets in for this exciting match. The blue corner is still heavily the underdogs here. 1,940% potential payout. I would jump on this, to be honest. I mean, with Metronome, who knows what would happen. What team and would you bet on, Luca? I mean, just because of the odds, I would probably bet on blue here, to be honest. You know, with Metronome, you could very easily get that um, get that big payout. Although the line could move, it hasn't moved much. Still nearly your username number. <laughs> I th uh, Almost. One... Uh, thank you Our... for the noodles. Our battle now underway in the Sunset Coliseum. The blue corner will send out their right to the red corner. Their Reggie Steel. Here we go. First match of commentary season two. 
Raichu looking to move first here. It's going to go for its metronome attack. What do you think it's going to do, Luker? Uh, who knows? It could be anything. It's going to be a hyper thing. Not very effective. Could get a defense drop. That would be the best thing to happen at this point. Wow, that did almost nothing. Registeel sends the Raichu up to space. Whoa, where'd it go? And get used to seeing this animation. This is the only move oh. Registeel has. Came down right in front of us. We're going to see a lot of holes through the space-time continuum, the atmosphere, because that's all Registeel is going to be doing. Raichu throws a rock at the Registeel. It didn't really feel that. Hi, Duplex. How are you doing? Thank you for all the work you did last run. Another seismic toss incoming here for the Registeel on the Raichu. Oh! I think it's, uh, I think it's down. No, no it's hold on, still, 51 it's, health, I'm sorry. It's doing a little bit more, right? Registeel is now paralyzed though, so it may not be able to attack every turn. This could be a good break for the blue team, which is trying to get that huge payout. Raichu now levitating on magnets as Registeel comes in, doesn't care about the magnets, sends it up to space. And that is going to be all Raichu can take. You can only get thrown into space so many times before you just can't take it anymore. How does it survive re-entry? This is advanced physics in Pokemon here. Pokemon physics, who knows? Sunflora comes out for the blue corner here. It's three on two in favor of the red corner. Let's see what Sunflora is going to do here with its metronome attack. Thank you to Pixel Umbreon for using that noisemaker as Sunflora tries to pocket sand, but it won't work. Sunflora now getting a closer look at the sun from space. Three quarters health now to the Sunflora. Registeel still paralyzed here. Let's see what happens next in this turn here. Sunflora comes in with a metronome attack. Metronome turns into Razor Leaf on the Registeel. Not very effective, however, very light hit. Registeel continues to get paralyzed here and will not be able to move this turn. Sunflora, at about three quarters health, will use its next metronome attack here. Sunflora bubbles it. Very light hit. Registeel taking all of these attacks here as it sends Sunflora to space. Crashing back down to the earth, Sunflora now less than half health. Not looking good for the red, sorry, the blue corner here. Ready Steel still paralyzed. Sunflora metronome attack. Let's see what it goes for. It's gonna go for a headbutt. Barely did anything. Reggie Steel comes back with another seismic toss. Sunflora goes down due to the gravity of Seismic Toss. The last Pokemon from the blue corner comes out. It's their Machoke. Machoke does have its no guard ability. Let's see what happens here. Machoke coming in now for a metronome attack. Will it get a one hit knockout move? Machoke comes in for a standard tackle. Not very effective, however, on that Registeel. None of these attacks are doing pretty much anything to this Registeel as it goes again now for another seismic toss. Solid hit there, down to three quarters health now on the Machoke. Not looking good for that blue corner whatsoever in this match. They keep getting bad RNG with these metronomes. Let's see what happens here as Machoke goes now for Thunder. Reggie Steel seismic tosses the Machoke again. Ooh, down to one quarter health. 
The fate of the blue corner rests on 70 HP from Machoke. Let's see what happens here. Machoke comes in with another Metronome attack. Metronome turns into Uproar. That's not going to... Oh, a critical hit! But it didn't do a whole lot. Reggie Steel comes in with another side McToss, and this will likely end the match here. Down goes Machoke. Down goes the blue corner. A clean sweep executed by the red corner. And congratulations again to the red corner on that amazing 7% payout. Apparently we just beat the champion here. From uh, Pokemon Black and White, released in 2010 for the Nintendo DS. Always a good token match. I appreciate the people betting on that token match. And get your inputs in now for Pokemon Ash Gray. One token on the line here as we just killed a, para a Paris. I almost said that again for some reason. 30 seconds left to get your inputs in. By the time you hear this, actually be a little less than 30 seconds, but you know. If you're just joining the stream, I am the Chef1337. My commentating partner, Lukerbomb12, has uh, lost his mic real quick, and he'll be back here very soon after our uh, stagehands get another mic for him. Always.